Welcome back, guys, to the DD Squad. I'm sorry we haven't been posting in a while, but happy Easter to all of you. Now, today we're going to be talking about the digestive system. And... And also, if we reach 100 subscribers, I will be very happy as we are only at 70-something. So you might be there in a few 30 subscribers. So thank you all for your support. And without it, this video wouldn't be possible. Mm-hmm. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing we'll be talking about is the gateway to your stomach, your mouth. It's not your nose or your eyes, but your mouth. Now, your teeth help chew the food. When you, as you chew your food, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then as it is as you swallow, it goes down your throat. And then there's two pipes over here. Your windpipe, which leads to your lungs, and the esophagus, which leads to the stomach. Now, you, the food goes down the esophagus, but if you're talking, it might go into the windpipe. Because then, when you talk, you emit air, so you won't, so you'll stop coughing and you might choke. So be careful while talking while eating. And those who have already swallowed the food, that's why I'm eating. Why? That's why you think I'm talking while eating, but I'm I not. just have to say one thing before we move along. Let's eat raisins. Anyway, now as it goes down your esophagus, a thing called peristalsis happens. It pushes the food down with the help of gravity until it reaches your stomach. Now, your stomach is bigger than my fist, but for a baby, it might even be a, a little bigger, just a slightly bigger. But in the stomach, there are some acids that break down food. Now, as it breaks down the food, it collects the nutrients. And if you consume something, that has a lot of gas, you might burp or fart. So, after that, after all the nutrients have been taken, it goes into your small intestine. Now, as it goes you around mean the your, large intestine, the small 